Uh, I would like to start by the paper uh, from Sudan, which is Trials for the Production of Sustainable Concrete in Sudan by Dr. Tahir Sheikh from Sudan University of Science and Technology and Dr. Selma Mahmoud from University of Science and Technology in Sudan. Uh, there are two different universities, even myself, I was confused. So one is Un Sudan University of Science and Technology and one is University of Science and Technology. So I, I hope I'm getting them right because I can't see Dr. Taysir here who's supposed to be the fairest beaver. Now, Dr. Uh, Tahir, are you available to present? Hello, yes. bro. Dr. Tahir, thank you very much. Uh, uh, can you hear us okay? Okay, okay, yeah, I'm hearing and you. Now we can hear you, but we can't see you, but you can go straight and share your, uh, your, uh, your screen. But before that, I would like to uh, say a few words. Thank you very much for your time. And I very much appreciate your efforts. And uh, particularly these days, I can see that happening in Sudan, in Libya. I can, there's another country as well where there's severe shortage of uh, electricity, power supply. Yeah. Yeah, so despite yeah. that, we very much appreciate and we hope you now have some kind of board to try to present your paper. You're going to talk yeah. to us about a very important issue. This is something yeah. we are very interested in was and we have a team has done lots of work on this, particularly in the, you know, in the American University in Sharga. We have people, they have done lots of work in terms of uh, green buildings and so on. So without any further ado, uh, Dr. Tahir is an experience. Uh, uh, academics, and uh, if you could also introduce Dr. Selma Mahmoud with, with you, and then uh, start sharing your screen, and we are listening, Doctor. Okay, thank you, Doctor. Uh, uh... Uh, you hear me? Sorry. Yes, we can hear you. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, hello. How are you? I am Dr. Tahir from Sudan University of Science and Technology. I'm my colleague, uh, Dr. Selma Yahya Mohammed Mahmoud from University uh, for Science and Technology. We have the group research. Our uh, presentation about the trial of production of sustainable uh, concrete in Sudan. Uh, we also know concrete is the most well consumed material in the building industry. We have a lot of resource in concrete or in material concrete now. Uh, we need we need uh, about uh, to find another resource for concrete uh, because the concrete now have a lot of material. Uh, this resource, uh, the demand of it. Uh, with the time, we can take more time. time. This is uh, this sorry. The, this study emerged as a result of realizing the need for innovative material and practice in the building industry to preserve the virgin material. Uh, we need to search about another material for concrete to be the material sustainable because the cement or manufacture of cement now have a lot of unfriendly material. Uh, we have uh, in our research or uh, scientific research, we have uh, a lot of trials. We have about nine trials, but now the result for five trials, uh, we need to find these trials about uh, uh, or uh, behavior on concrete like uh, workability, like uh, compressive strength, like durability. What happened uh, if we uh, add some of this material to concrete or to uh, workability test or sorry, to compressive strength test. We have the five suggested scenario we explore to possible outcomes. Uh, this from the research review from material uh, we found in Sudan. This is the five suggested scenarios. We I talk about one scenario and what is the result for other or uh, for the scenario. 
السيناريو نمبر 1 اللي هم 100 ريسايكل اجريجيت اند ناتشورال بوزولان ريبليسمنت اوف ذا كورس اند سيمنت ان كونكريت ميكس ان السودان ذا از ا لوت اوف ديموليشن اوف بيلدينج ذا ذي سيناريو في فايند او وي نيد تو فايند اف اد سم اوف ذيس ريسايكل اجريجيت Uh, and some natural buzulana from Jabal Mara or whatever for the, this place. How can this uh, where uh, uh, increase uh, compressive strength or increase workability or decrease or whatever? This is the scenario, uh, the picture show uh, how, how can we uh, take the uh, recycle aggregate and a trial number in this scenario you have eight trials uh, each trials have the cement water fine aggregate natural aggregate recycle aggregate and buzulana and some of the results of the properties of the recycle aggregate and natural aggregate we found in the result uh, if we compare about uh, Eight scenarios in seven and 28 days for compressive strength. Uh, the results show in uh, 100 recycle aggregate and 10%. Uh, we found this is the optimum result. If we can uh, in the uh, concrete mix, recycle aggregate, uh, we can use recycle aggregate for uh mixes and uh at 10 percent of the editing for cement we have the uh we have the optimum results and if you want test or workability test for concrete we have the result also we find the optimum result in about uh, 100 uh, 100 recycle and 10 percent of buzulana this uh, the all uh, result of this long test in the range of mixed design and about 30 or 60 millimeter to one and 180 uh, millimeters also do some test uh, ultra uh, durability test for the recycle aggregate and Natural Budulana, also we found the trial about 100 uh, recycle aggregate and 10 percentage Budulana. It is the optimum of this recycle. Uh, that, uh, that is the trial number one. Trial number two, he talk about steel, slack, replacing fine aggregate and semen aggregate. Uh, we Three, he has the three stage. Stage number one, Chiat factory, south of city Khartoum. We collect the material. Uh, step number two, we do XRD test. Was conducted on the BFS samples. Three number three, it was uh, corroborated in the partial substantiation for uh, sand and then cement. So, uh, a standard mix and other three where uh, where the slag replaced 10 and 5 and 20, uh, sorry, 10 and 15 and 20, and weight of sand and 15 and 25 and 35 of the cement weight. Uh, also, this we found all the uh, workability in, uh, uh, workability in Using and using steel slag and replacement of cement, the workability is decreased. Then, in the 35 percentage, the workability decreased. Uh, also, the workability in 28 days uh, increase in 35. Uh, if we using the steel slag, steel slag replacement of sand, the workability. Uh, you see is the increase in 20 percent but the workability is decreased in 20 uh, percent 
This is the scenario number two. Uh, scenario number three, alternated so dust replacing fine aggregate. Uh, scenario number four, also treated so dust replacing in cement ag uh, aggregate. In this scenario, we have the uh, seven trials. Trials number one, untreated so dust. Trial number two, untreated uh, so dust. Uh, trial number three, and socket trials replacement uh, about 10 percentage socket uh, uh, sawdust replacement by 10 percent, 20 percent. Well, uh, trial number six, we the treatment change in hydroxide about 10 percent, and number seven, the treatment of the sawdust. Uh, change to 20 percent. The, uh, the sample of uh, sawdust he, uh, from the local future of sorry local furniture market on Khartoum state. Then we collect the collect uh, the sawdust treated then use in concrete mix seven cases. Uh, we have the uh, doing or conducting, conducted the compressive strings for seven trials. Uh, we have some positive uh, result for doing this re uh, result for treatment for using uh, sawdust uh, replacement for fine aggregate. Uh, scenario number four, sawdust, uh, the partial replacement of Cement, uh, uh, we collect the raw sawdust, some sawdust burning, some sawdust uh, ash sieve analysis using sieve analysis, and a picture number four looks hard, then sawdust concrete mix. This sawdust we use it in the concrete. Then doing the compressive strength and slum tests for two mix, mix number one or mix number two. Uh, if we look at the result, we find the uh, compressive strength decrease for sawdust. Uh, if, if you are using sawdust about 10 percentage, then increase we using sawdust about or using percentage of sawdust 20 percent. Uh, the workability or the slum test, uh, the slum test of uh, uh, sample using sodas uh, decrease about uh, twenty percent. Then, if we increase the percentage of sodas used replacement of cement, the uh, the uh, workability also decrease. Type. Better results are achieved when uh, the ash was used in replacement or cement. Uh, Islam value are within the design limit for 30 to 60 millimeter and compressive strength is just as the target value within 20 replacement ratio. Uh, scenario number five, carry dust in the partial replacement of the sand. Carry dust is sediment of the reduce from the process of Treating uh, and treating rocks. Uh, this collected from the uh, manufacturing of cement, then using in the concrete mix. Uh, carry dust uh, from Umdurman, Sudan, and we have the two location. Uh, we collect the sample from it, or the carry dust uh, from Ajibalin, Sudan. We see the variables of the result for, for compressive strings. A replacement of four sand concrete mix containing uh, 50, 25, and 35 of QD, a replacing cement, uh, uh, 15, 25, uh, 50 were designed and prepared then carry waters, workability, fresh concrete, was measured for all mixes and compressive estering. The replacement of the sand by 15 QD 
yield in the best result and the, for the replacement of the cement about 25. The result confirms that the suitability of recycled aggregate for, uh, for full replacement of natural coarse aggregate steel flag was more appropriate in replacing sand than cement when added in the small percentage not exist 50 percent so uh, sawdust need treatment to eliminate the and variables or properties uh, the addition of qd replacement of 50 percent of sand offered a reasonable workability but the compressive strength was only approaching the target value according to these results it could be in effort that the test option offer reasonable evidence to confirm there is the potentiality for producing green concrete for Sudan. Uh, I am told we have the more of these trials. Uh, uh, we have the about eight trials, but this research we focus it on five trials. My colleague, Dr. Selma, tomorrow we uh, talk about one trial of this, uh, about uh, metacaulin in Sudan or kaolinite in Sudan. This is the one of the biggest uh, trials we do it uh, in our research. Uh, thank you, Victor Allam. Prof. Allam. We uh, very much appreciate, uh, yes, you can stop the screen sharing now. Okay. Uh, we very much appreciate this and uh, we are grateful and I can see that uh, you are doing your very best because we just received a, phone, uh, a message from uh, Libya, from Professor Nasir, who has been for the last two to three days to find a single um, uh, one hour to try to, to fix his presentation he couldn't. And he said now he can't join us because of electricity. And I think this really is the issue. Uh, quite seriously, we have been discussing this across the whole, lots of conferences in London and others. Africa's major, major developmental problem is electricity. This is being acknowledged by many people when we come about sustainable development in Africa. All people, myself included, argue that if we can't fix the energy and particularly the electricity in Africa, and I can tell you a figure last year, I think I was in Oxford a year ago. And at that time, the figure I look at, the, the, the electricity produced by Korea is bigger than the entire African continent. When I said that, people were shocked. One country production of electricity is higher than the entire continent in Africa. So please remember, if we all help and do a little bit, it will make a big difference.